showing you my everyday get ready with me. I put this on every day. It is amazing. It's a vitamin E lip moisturizer that tastes like brown butter or smells like brown butter. It's so, so, so good. So I've already done all of my skincare that I have a whole reel about if you're interested in seeing. Then I go in with my color science. It is the total sun protection SPF in the color medium, which at first looks a little dark. Don't get worried. I tried the light, which is one shade down. That's about how much I use. And it was bad. It was like ghostly. It was just way too light for me. See how this like looks a little bit too dark. I go everywhere with this. Make sure you get it over in your ears, down your neck, back of your hands. And then you have to wash your hands because look at them. <laughs> Next up, I go in with concealer. I've been enjoying this one from Clinique, the even better one. I'm getting down. I think it's just a matter of finding the right color for you. And this one just matches me color wise. Oops, missed that. I go down the middle of my nose a little bit because my nose is a little patchy. I don't even dampen it, I'm going to be honest. <laughs> This is just my everyday quick out the door. If I just want to look a little bit more put together than my normal just SPF. You can go just with the SPF if you want to. That just brightens up under the eyes. Next up, I recently changed it up because I just grabbed for the wrong thing. I've been using MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the color medium. Something about it and this amazing Tarte brush you hear my dog barking. <laughs> Not barking, <laughs> sneezing. Their allergies bother them at this time of year too. And I just take this and buff this all over, including my eyes. Like, this is my lazy day look, guys. Then I go in with this beauty, which is a favorite of mine. It is the Tarte Blush Tape. It's in the color Berry. Getting towards the end of this one. And I just go in and tap it around. Oh, that side has too much now. It is a little difficult to close. And then I use this Tarte kind of stippling. It's so good, this brush. Just This just gives me a little bit of flush, a little bit of color, and a little bit of a highlight. And I take that brush, whatever powder is left on it, I just kind of go right like that. Now I'm gonna take a Q-tip, dampen it, and clean off my brows and my lips a little bit. Next, I'm gonna go in and do a quick curl on my lashes. Lashes are all curled, going in with my favorite eyeliner, which is at the end of its life. Don't worry, I have a backup. And I just put this right on my waterline. Right, same on the other side. You don't have to do this step if you don't want to. I just feel like it makes my lashes look thicker. Favorite lash primer, Subversion Lash Primer. I'm telling you, this lash combo I've been doing along with the new lash lash serum, I use it every single night, guys. It has made such a difference. My lashes have never looked like this. But that and this primer, it has conditioning agents in it. I think it really, really, really strengthened my lashes. Last thing and I'm out the door, Tarte Tartlet tubing mascara i think it's called it is so good guys it doesn't flake it doesn't transfer this one i'm gonna have to replace soon i can tell it's getting a little bit dried out but it is so nice it stays amazingly it keeps your lashes curled and lifted all day which is always hard for me because i have poker straight lashes so that and the primer and because this causes a tubing effect, like look at that. Oh, I am in love with this mascara. It is so good. Just work it in. I'm definitely gonna have to open a new one of this soon. But it just, and it lasts so beautifully. So that's it. This is my everyday run out the door, but look a little bit more put together type of look. What do you think?